Meh. That's what it's all about, putting these long hours in a tree stand and having an opportunity like that, the buck comes by and being able to take the shot. That was exciting. Oh man. We got one yeah. down, boys. Good material. Good for you. Good yeah. for you, buddy. Congratulations. That's awesome. Where is he? Oh my goodness! And dried velvet. Oh dried my velvet goodness! On what a deer! And he had it on this one too, but it came off earlier. Look at that. <laughs> wow! That's Look the one at that's how on big and camera. mature that boy is. Yep, he's beautiful. What? He's a beautiful. Deer. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Wow! See the yeah. corkscrew on the brow? Yeah, yep. he just flares yep. right up there. Yeah. He is a monster, eh? Yeah. Big a... giant body on him. That is unbelievable. Awesome. So this is the deer that. James had watched him all summer through the bean field. Yeah. Got trail camera pictures of him. Exactly. Well, James knew that he didn't rub the velvet yeah, off. He said yeah, it took he him forever. He he's just, beautiful. That's a Absolutely giant, giant gorgeous. Stuff. I am thrilled with him. And to be able to watch him fall, yeah, that's that, a, that just made it exciting. Insight. Beautiful shot too, man. Good job. Thanks. Good job. Congratulations. Okay, Way to go, Kev. Let's, Let's get, get a tag him on him. Yeah. We'll get him out of here. Blood up here too. It's not much of a blood trail though, eh? He's right there, Paul. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Holy, look at that. Oh, he's an incredible deer, Paul. Dean, he is a beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this rack. I have experienced ground shrinkage in my life, and this is the complete opposite. 
Heavy, had eh? no idea he had that kind of Look mass. Look at the brow tines. Oh, I am so excited. He's an incredible deer. What a beauty. Well, I mean, this is, buddy. oh, thank you so much. Thank That's you awesome. so much. I told my wife when I was leaving that I said, I know, honey, we have a new baby at home. <laughs> but I said, Dean tells me he's got a few deer on the go and I've got to get out there. And, uh, you know, you did not disappoint. Well, we had this guy out in the alfalfa, you know, and like you said, this is probably, this is day three or four. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot goes into a big whitetail like this. That's why we waited for the right wind to get in here. Right. You know, and this is, we've watched this deer for four years now. And the night you shot him, it was the first night we hunted him. Really, you know? eh? Four we still years say, of you know, it took four years to get the deer, but you know if you, if you wait for the right time and you make sure you got the right setup. Well, okay, and over those four years, how many different times could you have harvested them? Oh, a lot. A lot. Yeah, eh? like another deer, and you can't. You you just to, to shoot that you've got to. Well, and isn't that isn't that a testament you to just it, right? Let I mean, go. four years of watching this guy yeah. and passing this guy, and look what he's turned into. Well, it's yeah. a high pressure area, you know, and a lot of times guys say, you, you know, if I let him go, somebody else might shoot him, and they might, you know. This well, deer you, that we watched, he's probably one of ten, you know, and the other nine didn't make it, you know, five or six years to hunt, and, but, if, but if we shoot him, he won't live for sure. There's no chance, right? That's right. You sealed his face. So you let ten walk and, you know, every now and then you get one that makes her like him and you end up with, I mean, an incredible trophy. Congratulations again, bud. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. It's awesome. Let's dude. get him tagged and uh, we'll get him back home. Awesome. mid-afternoon beautiful late December day and uh, we've talked ourselves in nicely here the blinds covered in snow we've had it up for a long time but we haven't hunted this spot yet we've been waiting to see if this big buck would settle in here late in the winter and he has so we're in here for our first night to give him a try this is the bedding area late in the air we're kind of pushing our luck so the field at our back and just snuck into the edge and they're in and out of here in daylight but he's not coming out to the food on the other side till dark so we've had to make a move on him so we're set up nice and tight, blinds covered, wind's right tonight. Just, just hope, hope tonight's the night that this big guy slips up. I just had one of the most incredible deer of my life walk out of my life, maybe forever, I don't know. The fawn actually busted us first and ran, and the big guy just turned and went with him. The three Beasley brothers hunted hard all week in the frigid late December weather, but the old buck's pattern changed, and he wasn't showing up on any of their cameras. Hunting this buck has been near impossible since they first got him on camera over three years ago. He seemed to move only at night, 
Judging from the pictures, they believe he was around six and a half years old when they first got him on camera, based on his body shape and neck size. As you can see from a couple of his sheds from over the years, his antler size has been decreasing, meaning he's older and his health is diminishing. So the stakes are higher than ever, as the guys may not have many more years to chase this old buck. for it that is hundreds and hundreds of hours of scouting and the second time in years that we've seen that deer in daylight the second time and he knew we were here it took him 45 minutes to move 20 yards he could see our breath lifting up in here and he kept locking on so i know that i didn't have the same angle as the camera and the camera couldn't see his head and i try not to do that but he locked on he kept moving his front foot looking at us giving us that stomp the little one and and i finally just had to take him i, I can't feel my fingers right now what a hunt all right boys you got hair and good blood there and it's spraying all out here Good spray right there, Keith. Oh yeah. Keith, there he is right there, buddy. Where? Congratulations. Oh my gosh, right there. look at this old warrior. <laughs> oh my <goodness>. Congratulations. <laughs> look at that deer. Finally. Finally oh, we get our size. hands on him. The size of that guy. Well, folks, meet GM. He's been the general manager of this the old boss, for a long, warrior. long time. Yes, he wow. has. In three years, at least over a thousand pictures. Oh, yeah. And sure. only two or three in daylight ever. Yeah. He, he's been one of the deer that we've photographed the most, but it's all but a dark. Yeah, and, and we've never laid eyes on him until this year when he winded me 10 days ago. And then he disappeared in our whole area here for three days and we kept at him and he showed back up today. Well, you better be careful about grabbing those hands. I, I know, I know. It was a year ago, last year. Six days ago. Six days ago that he dropped. He dropped. He dropped. Yeah. And yeah. we have it. So those might be ready to come off. Be well, careful. this is humbling, guys. <laughs> this is humbling. What do you think, Dad? I'm impressed, Keith. I'm really impressed. He's a beautiful buck. You guys have waited a long time for this chance. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's very understanding of this passion. It does consume us in a good way. We, we, we love to hunt, and uh, this is so much more than a hunt. So let's get them tagged up, let's get them home, and let's enjoy this incredible, incredible. Well, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Love yous. Appreciate you. Wouldn't rather do it with anybody else in the world, guys. Thank you. Since haven't been too productive for us, so we decided to start doing some drives. 
we saw a pile of deer in this cornfield uh, last night and uh, we just we've been unable to get at them from tree stands so we decided to try to push them to us it's one of the beauties of late season hunting i love i love doing drives with archery equipment it's a lot of fun it's actually way more successful than people think and uh, so anyway we got we kind of actually were pushing both ways i'm kind of right in the middle and we've got uh coming from this direction and coming from this direction so the deer could really come from anywhere um but uh, anyway, at any rate, there was probably about 40 or 50 deer in this cornfield last night, so we, uh, we'll get settled in. I just texted them, said go. So they're gonna start pushing here any minute, and uh, hopefully we'll see something coming soon. The deer. Holy cow, there's a whole group of them. There's a buck too right in the back. They're gonna come right to our left. Like you can't, oh, there's the hair. There's the hair right there. That's a good sign of a razor sharp broadhead. So I know I hit him. There's blood spraying all the way back there. I have no idea about my arrow though. It's one of the problems with uh, shooting on the ground. Eh? The, uh, the arrow can travel a really long distance and bury, bury under that snow. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, there's my arrow. I see it. Here it is right here. Look at this. Snow's all stained. Looks complete pass through, obviously. The blood looks good, but it went right through that snow bank, so it's obviously washed off a lot, but uh, that's a good sign. Broadhead's in great shape. All right, let's go get him. There we got him up here. Yeah, we got him there. Chunks of hair with blood. There he is, I see him, right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh wow, he is gorgeous. I am so excited about this deer. <sighs> oh, look at this, wow. You know what, this is my last day of the season. It's, uh, it's, it's in the afternoon. I still had an evening sit, but uh, we got two days left in the hunt, in the season, but uh, I wasn't able to get out. So this was literally my last chance. I had this evening sit and that was it. So it worked out very well and just goes to show you doing drives in archery season does work. You gotta be a little bit more controlled with and, re and use more restraint in terms of your shot placement and shot distance and stuff, but it goes to show you it can work, and this was just a well-executed plan. I just noticed this, he's got a patch of hair missing. Looks like he probably had some kind of goyer or cyst or something, and uh, it's popped, but he's, he's otherwise, he's in great shape. He is just a beautiful animal, and he's gonna go on my wall, and he's gonna go in my freezer. Awesome, awesome hunt. As the hunt continues into December, the cold Canadian winter arrives in full force. Kevin's required hunter orange signifies that the muzzle loader season is underway, but he persists with his bow, determined to harvest a mature buck at close range. Choosing a blind that sits on the edge of a poplar bush in a transition zone, he's hoping to come across one of the mature deer he's caught on game cameras in this area this season.
binoculars on him and this is a nine point that we've been seeing coming out during daylight hours and he walked straight to us and right to 20 yards i made a good shot i could see good blood coming out but he just disappeared in the trees i'll give my brothers a call and uh, hopefully they'll come over here and help track him for me oh look Dad, you can see his trail running right up there all the blood oh yeah he's kind of running eh? yeah good try He's still got good blood. Looks like he stopped right here, right, for a second. Oh, look at that. Dripping out both sides. Coming, it's right there. Yes. There he is. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, holy jumpers. Look at him. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, look at him, boys. Oh, my gosh, Kevin. <laughs> look at that buck. Oh, well, do you know what? It was pretty neat to actually have a deer show up on us this late in the season to surprise us. We haven't had that ever that I can really remember. Absolutely. We didn't know this deer at all. No, well, we've had the camera up since since the summertime and he finally shows up and uh, that just p shows you why you need trail cameras up on a property like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. We hadn't put any time or attention into this property no. other than trail cameras. Yeah. And thankfully we did because when the trail camera all of a sudden he shows up on the trail cameras, that cell picture goes off, <laughs> boom, we get it. It's like, oh my gosh. But it's well, a good example though to everybody. We don't, we don't have magical properties at all. We just no. a lot of hard work, a lot of great landowners that let us on them to be here weekly checking everything. Absolutely. And when a gift like this shows up, I mean, it was just such a blessing. So that's just it. Nice five by four and he's been rubbing camp. Yeah, he's been yeah, a fresh, fresh rubber right here. On. Well, let's get him cleaned up, guys, and get him out of here. Thank beautiful, you very much. Beautiful, beautiful. Glad we could all uh, do this together. It's awesome. Thank you. Well done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.